In this video, we're going to be talking about how to integrate touch-free tooling for web into an existing web application. So we have a web application that we call Hospitality. Um, I will make a build of it right now and I'll run through it. As you can see here, I can click on the buttons and it takes me through to different pages. I can also use a touch screen um, to do exactly the same thing. And um, what we're going to be doing is making this work as a um, touchless application using touch freeze tooling. So to do that, we want to take our tooling package that I have here, and I want to bring it into the location that I want to in my, in my application. Now it's gonna depend on how your application is created. But what I'm gonna do is just take these two folders, which is the uh, distribution, which has the touch-free tooling all compressed into one, one JavaScript file. And then I've also got the examples, which has the cursor, and uh, a quick implementation of the cursor. So if I bring that into my public folder that I have, um, that brings that with, with it. Um, one thing to make sure of is that the uh, quick start, uh, .js, um has the correct paths for the image, image files. So we have uh, examples slash images slash ring here. I think by default it starts off as images slash ring and we've added the examples folder um, to our public. So we need to also include that path. And that comes from the path that the index.html is for our own application. So if I go to my index.html, I want to include the use of both touch free tooling and the quick start um, JavaScript files. So I've got them commented out here and I'll just add them here so I can use them via script. Um, and that's all I actually need to do to, to, to integrate it. So if I um, rerun my application, I also have a touch freeze service uh, installed and set up for my setup and it's using air push as the interaction. You see we have a cursor and if I move my hand around, uh, you can see that the cursor follows and it's following where my hand is. And then I can use air push to press any of the buttons that are on the screen to also go through the application as if I was using a touch screen. I can also use the touch screen at the same time and I can use a mouse to do the rest of the application too. So that's integrating it uh, as it is, but we can also um, uh, use the documentation that comes along with the tooling. So firstly, there's a quick start um, guide for getting started with the tooling. And then there's also API documentation, uh, which you can open through going to the index.html in the, in the documentation folder. Uh, and you can go through all of the classes um, and see what they're all doing. And you can, for example, take a look at our input controller and you could extend our input controller uh, however you wanted to. So our, by, by default, we use pointer down and pointer up uh, events and you may want to change that to be mouse down mouse up or whatever it is that you may have uh, in your application and that's uh, something you might want to override um, once you've got started.